there was one Japanese plane above all others that would have dramatically impacted the course of World War II. Although the Japanese were in the process of developing several planes using highly advanced technology, their most closely kept secret of aviation development was a revolutionary intercontinental bomber designed to hit U.S. cities from bases in Japan. It was called the Nakajima G-10N1 Fugaku, or Mount Fuji, traditional symbol of Japan. The Fugaku was to be powered by six Nakajima KK-11 engines, each generating 5,000 horsepower. It was designed to cruise at an altitude of 32,000 feet at a speed of 423 miles per hour. Faster than most U.S. fighters and it was protected by four 20-millimeter cannon. Where could Japan get the technology to build large bomber aircraft like the Fugaku? The answer leads back to Karl Haushofer and the Black Dragon Society. Throughout the 1930s, Japanese businessmen, many of them linked to the secret of Black Dragons, operated in the United States. Using funds generated by the opium trade in China, the Japanese purchased American technology, including aircraft through legal channels. In 1938, the Japanese Imperial Navy used a front company to buy the plans to manufacture the Douglas DC-3 transport. A Black Dragon front company operating in the United States called the Mitsui Company actually managed to buy the entire plans for the Douglas DC-3 for a mere $90,000. In 1939, the Japanese legally bought another Douglas transport, the bigger DC-4E prototype. At last, they had access to the most advanced four-engine, long-range aircraft that America could produce. From the DC-4 and the DC-4 plans, the Japanese were able to build a prototype long-range bomber called the Shinzan, which actually means mountain valley. It wasn't a terribly good aircraft when they actually got it built. It was underpowered, but it did give them the technology in order to build the Fugaku bomber later on in the year. The Japanese also bought other U.S. aircraft technology, the Lockheed LO, the North American N-16, Seversky fighters, like his flying boats. This way, the secrets of U.S. aircraft technology were actually embodied in the Japanese fighting machine that America faced during the Pacific War. But Japan was not finished. In March of 1939, representatives of the Mitsubishi Company met with executives of Boeing at a plant in Seattle. They discussed buying the plans for the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. Failing that, they wanted Boeing to design a Japanese bomber based on B-17 technology. Boeing said it was not possible politically to design the Japanese bomber on company premises, but a hotel or nearby office could be used by the Japanese to produce a joint design. then said it would need government permission to manufacture it. While the Japanese army was considering the issue, World War II broke out and the plan came to nothing. It was through its commercial contacts that the Japanese were able to build up their bomber technology. In fact, the Fugaku betrays its origins in the DC-4 and even the B-17. But the Japanese had taken this technology a generation forward. They were now building an intercontinental bomber. <laughs> 